Hey guys, Adrian here for the, or <laughs> Adrian or Kid Guru here, sorry. Um, I feel like I'm doing a video for the Digital Dojos here. Anyways, this is for my main channel, and um, a lot of people were asking me to do some Mac tutorials, and I am trying to get more into the swing of things with Mac tutorials. Along with that, I've been trying to get, um, in general, just get more videos out and um, uh, get more video ideas. I have a lot of stuff that I want to get out for you guys that I haven't been uh, recently, you know, able to. I want to answer some questions. I want to get a lot of series started. Um, you know, I, I'm trying to do those Minecraft ones just for you gaming uh, viewers. But before I start the video, I do want to give a shout out to my other channels because I am doing a lot of content there, and I really appreciate it if you guys go check it out. Uh, one being YouTube.com/DigitalDojos. I do need some of you guys to subscribe over there, so we can hopefully get a partnership running over there. Also, youtubecom gamers just a side project of me doing some gaming videos with my friend Josh or We493. We're doing some gaming commentaries, etc. Anyways, let's jump right into the video here without wasting your time. Uh, a lot of people were asking me about my Mac. You know, how is it doing my MacBook? It's doing great. I run it on SSD. It's running on my Intel X25M. Um, this just went the first, not the first, or you know, uh, yeah, this is the first generation MacBook, I should say, the white one, not the unibody or you know, not the newest one out there, but it does me fine. Um, and you can see here, uh, I've showed this in another video, but um, about this Mac, it is the two gigahertz uh, Intel Core 2 Duo running on an SSD with two gigabytes of RAM. And a lot of people are asking me what I use to screen capture. What's some great screen capture software for the Mac? Because I do it a lot. You know, I used to do a lot of tutorials on Windows and showed you guys some free alternatives. Well, the screencasting I use is paid, and there's on the Mac you see more paid software, but um, for screen and screen capture wise, but you really do get what you pay for in a couple of these. And I own two of these, so um, I'm gonna talk about two of them mainly just from personal experience, you know, reviewing wise. Um, I'm gonna try and get um, the TechSmith, the Camtasia, which I've re reviewed on Windows because um, Camtasia, you know, they were nice enough to send me. Uh, that one, but I'm gonna try and contact number one for the one for the Mac, and we'll get back to you guys. But anyways, um, the one I used and when I was recommended was ScreenFlow. Now this is something I've seen way back. You know when I watched, uh, if you guys remember Eric Meek or Emeek77 when he did his Mac versus PC videos. Um, he did a lot of videos concerning um, with tutorials and stuff like that, and he used ScreenFlow, and that's one of the ones I've always seen people use. Uh, you know, Soldier Knows Best stuff like that. So one of the first software I invested with after I got Snow Leopard. Um, was ScreenFlow. It's ninety nine dollars, kind of expensive. I did demo it before I got it, but it really is a great piece of software, and I'm, I haven't even used it to its full capabilities yet. But this is one of the best, professional wise. If you're looking for really high con high quality content, ScreenFlow will get the job done. Um, and again, they have upgrade fees, so you do have to. It's it's a little bit cheaper when you upgrade, but three point is coming out soon, and I'm looking forward to that. Now, on the free side, one that's a little bit outdated but still does work is Snapper. Snapper Screen Recorder. Um, is basically the same thing. It lets you to take a movie of your screen. It doesn't have all the fancy features and editing that ScreenFlow does, but you can take this little, it's more lightweight, and uh, this was um, one here that was made, I believe, in, uh, not Snow Leopard, but uh, I want to say Lion, but I totally forgot how the, uh, uh, oh, yeah, 10.3, and um, this works with the, most of the latest uh, Intel Macs, and also with the G3, or even works with the older Macs with the G3 processor better. So this is a little bit of an older model, uh, software, but still runs great. Another one is called Capture Me. Now, this is another one I've heard about screen recording for Mac OS X. Again, another l very lightweight. This one's more uh, third part here. As you can see, it's very, very lightweight here. It just shows you the resolution. You can re resize this window to uh, basically the window, uh, whatever resolution you size it to, is what's, what it's going to capture. So, very, very simple, keeping it super simple here. You just drag and resize the floating window to cover the area you want to capture and it will capture and then obviously you can save that file. So again these aren't you know as complex as the other programs but again it saves it and then uh, you can see here uh, MPEG-4 format so the quality is a little bit you know MPEG-4 is uh, pretty decent and again it's free open source and you can see all the features right here and you can see uh, ideas for future enhancements and you can donate if you uh, you know want to donate towards the cause and the software so capture me is another great one I'll leave links to these in the video description now another more professional one that I've heard mixed reviews about again I haven't tried it out myself I use this on the Windows and anyways um, Camtasia for Mac TechSmith is a very popular video uh, you know editing and recording software yeah uh, software company and Camtasia is one of those uh, professional end editors that you can, you know, it's not as great as like Sony Vegas stuff like that, but you can do some really high quality tutorials and con, uh, you know, how to stuff through Camtasia. Really great for that sort of stuff. And again, very similar to uh, the price point of uh, ScreenFlow. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but again, this is for more, uh, you know, 
in-depth tutorials and stuff like that, and I figured so. I since I did so much videos um, and stuff like that, I decided to go with ScreenFlow over TechSmith. And I think also at the time when I got my Mac, um, TechSmith didn't come out with the Mac version yet. This is another one I own. This is one I owned back in the day because they were a sponsor of my uh, old podcast. Since then, we've moved on to a new podcast. You can find that at Dojo Cast. That's on iTunes. It's called. Sh it's a company we call Shiny White Box. Uh, I know the guy who runs it. He's a great guy, and one of the great products he makes is I Show You. This is version one. Um, this is one that's been supported. You know, this is one that's uh, been on the Mac, I should say, for a long time and he's a, he has great amounts of software you can get bundled and saved with you can get stuff like stomp which compresses your video files um, and you can get the newest I show you HD which is the latest version that obviously does HD content and stuff like that for YouTube tutorials very very simple to use it's running uh, price point right now is twenty dollars and again you can go I show you HD for a little bit more um, you get Easy, easy to use um, drag and drop, you know, or drag and record features, instant recording, uh, um, flexible presets as you see here. You can record 720p, 1080p, depending on your uh, preferences. One click publishing, you can automatically put it out to certain formats for your iPod, iPod Touch, iPhone, iPad. So if you want to watch these tutorials or you want to give these tutorials to somebody on their device, easy to export there. Um, and it's just really an awesome app, guys. This is uh, one of my favorite. Mac software company, Shiny White Box. Really, really great product. So check this out. I show you if you're looking for a cheaper um, alternative to like stuff like ScreenFlow or TechSmith. Really good, guys. So in my opinion, if you're starting out, uh, you want really great software that's going to last you a while, I show you is going to do you great. I show you HD will do you even better. If you get to the point where you're making a couple more videos and more tutorials and stuff like that, or you know stuff for like companies and stuff like that. ScreenFlow, TechSmith are probably more of your professional end software that you want to look at. And again, Snapper and CaptureMe are your free alternatives if you don't want to pay anything. That's understandable. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna try and get more videos out like this because these are the ones I really do enjoy doing. You know, software recommendations, stuff like that, and just talking to you guys. Anyways, guys, hope this answers some questions for you Mac users. Um, and I'm gonna do some more Windows tutorials and Mac tutorials. And I'm again I'm getting a new Linux box, so we're gonna be looking into some Linux tutorials as well. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next video. Don't forget to comment, like the video. It does help out. You know, I take time to make these, edit them, etc. So if you can just like the video, or you know, rate the video in general, uh, that helps out and gives some feedback. Comment, and of course, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and check out our website at digitaldojos.com.